In his dorm room at UMass Lowell, Andrew Ambrosino spends a majority of his time doing what he loves, creating. Computer science is often thought of as being very, very technical, but it's also very creative. In the classroom, Ambrosino was given programs to develop that weren't exactly what he called essential. They weren't actual problems companies faced. Hearing some of Ambrosino's frustrations with simple interfaces, a mentor told him about Innocentive. Innocentive is a crowdsourcing challenge platform. And so uh, they, they solicit the challenge and a bunch of people try to solve it. Created in 2001, the idea of companies seeking solutions to problems through crowdsourcing was a novel idea. And there's relatively little like this today. That's Alpheus Bingham, founder of Innocentive in a Skype interview. It struck me that one of the limitations that we had in the commercial research world was that often in the interest of sparing resources, a complex problem would be given to one or two people. Uh, different smart people come up with different ways of solving the same problem. Here's how it works. An entity known as the seeker brings a specific and focused problem they need solved. Innocentive then delivers the challenge to its solvers who get cracking. In any design case, what you should do is always um, sit down, identify the users, identify how they're going to use this. Um, identify which features need to be highlighted and up front. And the brainstorming session starts it all. Before I even go into Photoshop or, um, you know, my text editor or anything, it's always pencil and paper and a lot of coffee too. And when Andrew hits what he calls a designer's block. It really helps just to go outside and take a very long walk all around the wall. And then with a serious look on his face that you can see reflected in the screen, he begins to crack the code. Based in Waltham, Massachusetts, Innocentive has hundreds of solvers. They, they come from a variety of backgrounds uh, with a variety of education levels. Take, for example, Ambrosino, who is only a senior and has already won a challenge, which was... Creating a student-centric interface website, web app for open enrollment colleges. Something he could relate to. According to Bingham, Innocentive is doing well with stable growth. The company has evolved over time to expand the diversity of seekers, challenges, and solvers. It's a perfect time to get involved. As a solver, there's, there's hardly a reason for anyone not to get involved. For companies, Bingham said, You're paying for results. And not the solver's time, meaning just from posting a single challenge, a company could see a variety of solutions. It's better to have them all revealed to you uh, and to select after the fact. And it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Incentive has, has provided me with the challenge and the exposure, and it's been great. Ambrosino will be moving on to work with the company to develop his solution further.